Go. So, so now that you have learned what is a Taylor polynomial of degree n and a Maclaurin polynomial of degree n, let's do a few examples. Let's do one example right now. Find Maclaurin example polynomial. For sine of x, right? uh, let's say uh, uh, degree four, what uh, number number and six. Okay. So in our notation, I need p four of x and p six of x. We are being asked to find. And since we are being told Maclaurin functions, the c means c to be zero. Okay. So let's do because we need to take the derivatives of the degree. Let's go ahead and write this down for ourselves. F of x equals sine of x. Right. So um, the first derivative of x uh, of f is cosine of x. The second derivative of x. Is negative sine of x. The third derivative of x is negative cosine of x. Uh, let's continue there. The fourth derivative of x is how much? The derivative of cosine and negative sine, so negative cosine and positive sine, right? And you know this from before, right? Trigonometric functions sine and cosine have a cyclical derivatives. So we need sine again. So then we just continue, right? So the first derivative is cosine, the sixth derivative is negative sine. Okay? Approximating polynomial 
for sine of x near zero degrees or zero radians uh, uh, and the approximate model of degree four. Now you might be saying, wait, right, degree four, but it's not degree four term. Uh, well, that can happen because if the if you when you agree those derivatives and make the derivatives equal in your compute, you might actually get the fourth degree polynomial, fourth degree term to vanish. Right? So, okay. So going the same way, I think we can go ahead and write this down without too much more calculations. You have you already have this part. Right? The fourth degree term vanishes because they're zero. The fifth degree term will be 1 times x to the 5 or 5 factorial. So you get x to the 5 or 5 factorial. Okay? That's your sixth degree polynomial. But actually it's a fifth degree polynomial, so the sixth. And so now what will be the benefit of this? Here's the benefit. Now let's say we did the approximation near what? C equals what? C equals 0. McLaurin, right? So uh, suppose you have a complete sine of 0.1 radians. Okay? 0.1 is pretty close to 0. So the nice thing now here, you could compute it approximately. It's a, approximately, plug it in here. It's approximately 0.1 minus 0.1 cube over 3 factorial. Okay? And these are very easy computations, so you get a very quick way of computing sine 0.1. Now, if this is not to desire desired accuracy, you have to add more terms, you have to go to higher degree polynomial. Uh, we're going to see down the line in one of the lectures how to control the accuracy or precision needed for a given approximation. But this should give you a quick idea of how we now begin to use these Maclaurin and Taylor polynomials. We'll see more examples in other lectures.